Welcome to Core Finance. It gives me great pleasure, as always, to introduce Mr. Alessio Rastani for LeadingTrader.com. Alessio, very good morning to you. Thanks for Without having me. Without further ado, let's kick off US dollar, OK? Right. Are you suggesting we found a bottom? <laughs> boom, boom. Well, actually, uh, I'm not a bottom fisher, uh, unlike uh, many folks out there who probably would do that. Uh, but you know what? I would say this. Keep an eye. I would suggest um, your viewers and everybody keep an eye on the U.S. dollar. Number one, because the sentiment, the dumb money sentiment, Nick, uh, out there is getting extremely bearish. Uh, I mean, just, just take a look at some of the articles published on uh, some of the social media sites or on MarketWatch, and you'll see tremendous amount of bearish, over bearishness on the dollar. I, I, one of the things I do is sometimes I also keep an eye on other newsletter writers, and I want to see what they're saying, because you can also use them as a contrarian signal. Yep. Uh, I, I recently got a newsletter saying a um, major crash is coming in the U.S. dollar. <laughs> I was thinking, where have you been for the last few weeks, for the last few months? Because the crash has already started months ago. So when you see these headlines coming out, you know, oh, crash coming and whatever, usually you're reaching a, an inflection point or turning point. So guys, if we just go back to that chart of the U.S. dollar, um, so Nick, uh, on the left, what I have here, if you just, keep, keep, if you just focus on that left chart, yep. courtesy of Jason Geppert of SentimentTrader.com, uh, just give a shout out to him because he does some fantastic stuff. For example, uh, right now, that chart on the left shows to us that insiders, so the smart money, commercial hedgers, are bullish on the dollar. You can see that they've been buying the dollar for the last few months, going back as far as spring. So if the smart money is bullish, I want to be on the same side of the this, this smart money. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, on, the other, on the other hand, it doesn't mean I'm going to go buy the U.S. dollar or go long on the U.S. dollar, because usually there is some, sometimes there's a, a lag between uh, the, the inflection point. But as you can see there, Nick, we are coming down to support, 92. Yep, round number. Absolutely. Fifth uh, wave. The fifth wave, yeah, if you uh, follow Elliott Waves. I, I will say this, Nick. I've said, I think I said this before in this show, which is that Elliott Waves seem to be the marmite uh, of the analysis and trading. Some people hate them. Some people like them. I used to be a hater. I used to be extremely skeptical about Elliott Waves. But now I'm beginning to see, you know what, there's something in this. I, I would say this. Look, if, if, you're, if, you, if you don't like Elliott Waves, put it this way. Uh, you, you, if you use electricity... Electricity works. You don't have to know how electricity works. You don't have to know how the electrons and everything come together. Same thing with Elliott waves. It works. You know, I, I've seen it work more often than it doesn't. So I would say anybody out there, uh, keep an eye on that support, 92. Uh, wait for a bounce from that level. A close above 93 would suggest that, you know what, we're, we're reaching for a, a correction, an ABC wave correction there. So that's what I got on the dollar, which means, by the way, Nick, if the dollar bounces from that level, also be short in the euro, because the euro would be in the inverse of that chart. So a potential trade coming up, potential euro trade. short, long dollar. Yeah. Alessio, thank you very much indeed. Mm -hmm.